Hey guys, what's going on? Excoundrel here. I am going to be bringing you a really important topic for PUBG Mobile. We are going to be talking about bullet drop and range finding. This is a super, super in-depth topic, but if you get the grasp of it, it will make you an excellent player, especially when you're sniping. The reason I want you guys to understand this is that if you are able to snipe someone before they can respond, if you can headshot them with a car 98 or a better sniper rifle, you can essentially dominate the mid game. As long as you are not giving away your position and constantly moving, you can completely crush your opponents and you can make plays like that, sniping someone off a jet ski around 300 meters away. So what is the statistic that we care about when dealing with sniper rifles and assessing their bullet drop? It's the bullet velocity. The VSS has the lowest bullet velocity out of any snipers at 330 meters per second, and the Mini-14 has the highest at 990 meters per second. There is a scientific reason behind this that's not just made up statistics. The VSS uses 9mm ammo, which is the largest diameter ammo. It therefore has to have the largest diameter on the barrel. And think of it like a cannon, the larger the diameter, the harder it is to force that bullet out at a high velocity. The 5.56, however, has one of the smallest diameters of uh, bullets, and therefore it's also it's going to leave the chamber much, much quicker because it's easier to force that out um, at a quicker velocity. Also, you've got streamlining. The 9mm ammo is a rounded bullet compared to the 5.56 and the 7.62 ammos, which are pointed bullets, and therefore they will travel through the air much smoother and they won't lose as much velocity on their trajectory. So now that we've done the science, we can talk about where the VSS is accurate. You'll notice bullet drop on the VSS around 200 meters. It is accurate at 100 and 150 on the first reticle. However, you have to then start to move down the chevrons. And at 300 meters, it almost looks like the bullet is curving in front of you. Now compare this to the Mini-14, where it is almost 100% accurate at 300 meters. You can aim exactly on the, uh, the red reticle on any of your scopes at 300 meters, and it will hit the target. However, you will start to see a small amount of bullet drop on the Mini-14, around 400 to 500 meters. However, that is a very small amount and you'll be able to compensate for that. So this is obviously the, the gun that's going to give you the greatest accuracy at distance. Now we're going to compare that to the Car 98, which is about the middle ground between the two of them. It's not as quick as the Mini-14 at 760 meters per second, but it's also much, much quicker than the VSS. So you're not going to get the same level of noticeable bullet drop but you do still start to see it at around 300 meters. So if you have a look at the car 98 with the eight times, go right down to the 300 meter sign, you'll notice that you start to see a small amount of bullet drop at about 300 meters. If you wind that back in to 250 meters, you'll notice that it's actually pretty accurate. But at around 300 meters is where you're going to start to noticeably see the bullet drop from the Car 98. And most of the other 7.62 ammo, or oh, so 7.62 weapons, are pretty much the same. The only one that has a much higher uh, bullet velocity is the MK14 EVR. And that will uh, be a little bit more accurate. That's probably 100% accurate at 300 meters. As is the SKS, which is essentially just a little bit quicker than the uh, the car 98 but at 250 meters the car 98 remains pretty much 100 percent accurate to the red reticle in the middle of your scope so you can see the spread of snipers and about the distances that you're starting to be concerned with the vss you have to be concerned with at 150 meters plus the air mini 14 is at around 400 meters plus and the car 98 you're starting to see bullet drop at around 300 meters so those are all the distances that you have to be concerned with when dealing with these these individual sniper rifles but the next question and the next lesson comes how do you know how far you're shooting yeah I, if i turned around to you and said point out that dude and see how far he is you'd need to understand and read that from your um, from your scopes. So let's start with the VSS because it has its own individual scope and it's better to explain this on a simple uh, term. To assess how far a player is, you get him on that bottom set of lines between one and four. The leftmost vertical line, if the player fits in that leftmost vertical line, he's 100 meters away from you. If the player fits in the rightmost vertical line, um, and you can see the small silhouettes, they represent the person that you're looking at down the scope, they're at 400 meters, and therefore it doesn't take a genius to know that at two and three, they are 200 and 300 meters respectively. On the VSS, you will see three chevrons. The topmost is red, which is black on this screen, but it should be red. The second is um, 
a smaller black chevron and the third is a very very small black chevron. Now compared to the PC version the VSS actually doesn't have as much bullet drop so the first chevron is accurate at 100 meters, the second is 300 meters and the third is around 500 meters. I'm going to demonstrate this here because in the PC version, the second chevron actually illustrates a 200 meter accuracy, but on the mobile version, the VSS bullet drop is, is seemingly about halved, so you go between the first and second chevrons to get the 200 meter accuracy. Then for the 300 meter, meter accuracy, you put your target or your target that you want to hit exactly on the second chevron, and that will represent a 300 meter accurate shot. The third chevron on estimate is around 500 meters and you'll start to see um, that tree is around 450 meters away so you're getting almost that level of accuracy when aiming at the tree. So that's how you read the VSS. So if you go back and want to listen to that again and then start to use that in practice you'll be able to assess how far our targets are away from you. Let's move on to this. This is a infographic produced, produced by um, Wacky Jackie. He is a YouTuber that does pretty much the same thing that I'm doing here, but for every gun on the PC. So if you're interested in PC PUBG, Wacky Jackie is a great resource. And this is an infographic produced by him, but it still is relevant to PUBG Mobile. And I'm going to explain why. Now, it looks really complicated right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take individual parts and break it down. And then those theories you can come back and apply to any scope in the game from this particular uh, image. And I will also try and link the image in the description if I can so you have a resource to go back to. What we're going to focus on is the 8x sniper range finding and bullet drop assessment and the 4x sniper range finding and bullet drop assessment. But you can come back and apply this to the assault rifles as well. Um, but right now I'm going to do it primarily on the 8x and the 4x because you can use those lessons and come back and apply them. Basically what I'm going to show you is how a real life situation applies to the infographic that you saw so that you can then go and apply that to several other situations based on the scope that you have and based on the gun that you're using. But like I said, I'm primarily focusing on sniper rifles for this particular video because it's a little bit uh, more... I think relevant for sniper rifles in general. So you can see here I have found a chappy next to a tree. I'm going to use the rangefinder to assess how far he is. So I'm going to have an imaginary circle around the second dot uh, in a ring around the second dot away from the center reticle. The guy is crouched down and I can make that most relevant to the 300 meter um, infographic that you can see there. On the 300 meter infographic you can see that the torso pretty much encompasses most of that circle and you can see here on my screen it encompasses pretty much the entire circle. I know that at 300 meters the sniper that I have needs a little bit of compensation for bullet drop and it's between the first and second dots so I'm going to align his head up between the first and second dots and I'm going to take the shot and bam straight to the head get the kill and that was all because of range finding and also assessing the range and relevancy to my uh, to my bullet drop i'm going to use this example as well to show you this is the example that i showed at the start of the video i move that circle over and you can see that it is about the same distance that i had previously in the previous shot so it's about 300 meters now i also have to compensate for the fact that he is moving to the right on his uh, ski jet, but I line it up just a little bit above his head, 300 meters away, I know I have to compensate for a little bit of bullet drop, and I do the same thing. Now we're going to use the four times on the car 98. The four times is a little bit more complicated to get your head around, but you have to look at those four lines below the center um, cross reticle. And I can see that he is pretty much similar to the 200 meter one. If I were to, to move this down, I'd say he's just a little bit over 200 meters away from me. Now, I know that using the car 98, it is accurate at between 200 and 300 meters. So all I need to do is center up the cross on the head of the chap that I'm shooting at and take the shot. And like there, straight to the head and I get the kill. Next example is pretty similar, this time at a slight height advantage compared to my target. Again, using the rangefinder, that zoom in. I'm going to guess, just based on what I can see here, that this is between 100 and 200 meters away. Again, I'm using the car 98. I know that I am accurate at this range. I'm also at a height advantage, so I know that I can continue to be accurate with that red reticle on my scope. And I'm going to bam him straight to the head for that kill. 
So if you go back and have a look over the, the range finding stuff, especially with the infographic, you'll learn a lot and you can hopefully practice that in the training mode, but also in your games as well. Just try and take your time when you know that you can take time to take that shot and you'll build it up naturally. Uh, really what you should happen is over time, this should become more natural to you and you should be able to assess the range of targets just based on uh, having previous experience dealing with people at that kind of range. So the three factors to consider when dealing with bullet drop is the bullet velocity of the weapon, the lower the velocity, the more bullet drop, the distance to your target, and you use the range finder for that, and the relative height between you and your target. Remember, if you are higher than your target, you need to compensate less for drop. You can actually afford to be more accurate towards the center of your scope. If you are lower than your target, you're going to have to overcompensate for bullet drop because you're going to need it to travel up further because you're also trying to cover a height distance as well. I hope this has been useful to you. This was a really in-depth video that I really enjoyed doing. So thank you so much for watching um, and, and supporting all of the content on the channel. Uh, it means a lot to me, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.